What's up, beautiful people? Hey it is that time of year. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. My big boy. Linky's Ooh. got his big. He's got a candy cane. Ooh. Oh, oh thank funny. you. That's so nice oh, to share. My gosh. He's so excited about this, guys. Is. It is our annual gingerbread house decorating contest, Woo! boys against girls. We do this every year. Last year, though, I think we switched it up. We did uh, sweaters, like ugly sweater contest. Cookie decorating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But this year, we're back to the gingerbread house. We actually bought these that are like pre-made in the box. So yeah. we're not having to deal with all the issues of will the house actually stay together? Yeah, <laughs> but, you uh, guys remember the last time, I think the boys, they had to kind of improvise and say yeah. that it had like been in an earthquake <laughs> or something because it would not stand up. It was so funny. But um, oh, I have candy cane in my hair now. And he was like enthusiastic to share with me. So funny. Um, but, we're going old school rules. We only got the candy in the box. No extras, no anything. So yeah. it's completely level playing field. Right. We've done this differently in different years where we can all kind of bring stuff to the table and like, you know, get creative with our own thing. Yeah. Uh, and then other years where you could just go with just the box. This Year we're going with just the box and yeah. stuff. Yeah, keep it simple yeah. and you can still get really creative with it. Yeah. So we want to see kind of what the boys come up with yeah. and what the girls come up with. We're all pretty competitive people yeah. and so That's it's always it. fun to kind of add that element yeah. to it, but the kids <laughs> have been dying to do this this year. Yeah. So, But we're also a little bit biased because it is boys against girls. So uh, obviously I would choose the boys and Amanda would choose the girls. <laughs> so we're going to ask you guys to be the judges there because y'all are completely uh, bipartisan, <laughs> non-biased people who will just choose what you think is the best, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, let's get this thing done. I'm excited to see what happens. We are not helping. I helped a couple times just to kind of get the stuff in the bag. Amanda kind of yeah, helped just kind of more overseeing. Yeah. But but on the whole, we're letting the kids do all the creative work, all the design, all the construction, all of that, and I can't wait to see yeah. how it goes. Wow, ah, guys. No, look, you have I'm 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 just a cameraman right now. I'm not a. Yeah, but you are the boy. I'm not a boy. I'm not gonna tell them what they can. Okay, mom can. Okay, mom will be your camera woman. Okay. Better than you. So the girls are hard at work here, doing a fantastic job. I love the detail here. That is so I don't even pretty. know what I'm doing. And this is kind of like a fondant, right? It like is. The, that's really cool. That this was Penny's that. idea. Was it? I like the, the lining of it. That's really cool. The ball on the line. Yeah, to make it look like Christmas lights. That's pretty. You guys are so artistic. It's going to be such a fierce competition. Bye! Both of you. Link is ready to say bye again. Are you helping the boys, Lincoln? Ah. Yeah, he's like, I'm helping them eat the candy. No. We're winning this year. You're going to win this year? Yes. This looks so cool, guys. All right, so what happened was, I lined the whole thing with the balls, uh -huh. but there wasn't enough to do on the other side too. So I'm taking the ones in between it. Oh, so you're adjusting. And then I'm gonna do something else. Okay. A master plan. Well, that's good to know. Link, he's over here having the time of his life. You go again? Yeah. Yeah. I love it so much. You can go again? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You can go again? Yeah. Ooh. You want to go again? He's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's looking at himself in the mirror, too. Yeah. You want to go again? That's funny. Yeah. That is seriously so cute. I'm putting the small ones Damn. at the top and the big ones. Wait, you want I'm making our, um, our thing plus. There you go. Good job. What are you guys doing? I'm making the window. No the window? The window. Oh, that's a good looking window. Yeah. Kind of oddly placed, but perfect. It kind of looks like a window from Whoville. It's a window. Yes. 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 Okay. 
<laughs> oh, oh, he's you like, do he's like, do some more. I'm gonna eat the entire food. Get out! Ready? You ready? No one gets it. Get a cat with me. One, two, make two. A walkway. three. Whoa! Ooh. You gotta count with me. Ready? One. Can you say one? Mom! One. <laughs> Ready? Linky? Say. Say. Linky. Say one, two, three. Ooh! I got a rainbow tooth. A rainbow tooth? That's funny. <laughs> I've seen the girls' and it's really good, and ours is pretty awesome too <laughs> but they have to come up with a good story good story oh, it's all in the story it's all in the story all the kids have to come up with it has to be the most compelling story most of, it has, along with the visuals you've got who is the architect why did they make these particular design choices? What were the circumstances we surrounding the building of this house? Oh, oh that's durability. 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 By like throwing it out the door. <laughs> our backstory. You gotta do like I, a, I, I created a, it. Earth shit. It's earth gonna earth be earth. awesome. You gotta do an earth walk. Yeah, you gotta test it against the Bumpus's dogs next door. Oh my God. <laughs> you got. You got to do it. I will say both are looking really good. They're both looking like strong contenders. We got a pretty killer Mrs. Claus over here. We got a little Olaf, uh, little snowman with that missing head. Sad and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not always about the looks. It's about <laughs> the story. The story. Okay? The inside, it's their personality. Man looks okay. at the outside appearance, the Lord looks at the heart. Let me guess. Let me guess. It has a no great look. personality. <laughs> it does. And then we have over here the reason that the boys only did the front. <laughs> You're gonna get so sick. I'm pretty sure he does this every year. Oh my god. Every year. We have to like look back on the other videos, but I'm pretty sure half the video is just catching him. <laughs> the boys were like, no we don't more. have enough icing for the sides. Okay, all done. And then they look over at Ethan just like eating all the icing. <laughs> You're gonna get sick, buddy. Oh my god. You're silly. You better go brush your teeth really good tonight, huh? <laughs> also, the boys really decked out the top and the front. They did. Really the well. top and the front, it's kind of they the facade like approach. The front's on the back. Real nice. You know. It's kind of similar to like the whole Christmas tree effect, right? Like you've got the front well decked out, and most yeah. people Christmas trees in the back. Little You're not hanging a lot of ornaments Nobody's around the back. back there. It doesn't really matter. You can let it be a little more sparse. That's yeah. kind of the, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah. You put it all, in the, you make it count. Know. Lincoln, what do you Hey, think? buddy, what is that? Oh yeah, it's got to pass the Lincoln test and we got so for durability. Durability. Whoa, that's earth shattering. Don't touch. Don't touch. That's earth shakingly durable. Oh no! Oh man. All right, guys. It does appear that both of the gingerbread houses, both guys and girls, are completed. So now they're going to present their gingerbread house complete with story behind the story behind the scenes of the gingerbread house this could be its own like Netflix show epic gingerbread houses of history of history oh my gosh. <laughs> we also have one that we didn't do yet that I think we were oh we have the tree about. house yeah, yeah there was like a tree house version which That's I thought true. is really cute maybe we should bring that with us on our that would be super fun we could do that over the Christmas break yeah our next really our fun. next video will actually be us leaving uh, to go to Utah. We're hanging out with some buddies in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Fun little collab, Any of you guys can guess who that might be? Another awesome, huge family. Huge They're a much family. bigger family than even we are, which yeah. we didn't even know was possible. But. They're amazing, we love them so much, and it's gonna be awesome to go hang out with them in their, their hometown a little bit. So leave a comment who you think it might be. Yeah, and then and then we'll be spending like a week and a half um, with the rest of our extended family, yeah. doing some skiing, playing in the snow, yeah. all that fun stuff. So yeah. very much looking forward to that, and yeah. just being able to spread out a little bit, not being in an RV over Christmas. For nice. sure, we're really taking full advantage of the fact that the kids are not in school, and uh, we're we're leaving a little bit early. We're actually going to stretch out this trip. <laughs> we're deciding right now if we want to try to do like Yellowstone and Grand Tetons yeah. and all that. 
on the way. It's sort of on the way, but a little bit out of the way. Um, but we have the time, so we may do that. We may go to like Denver and hang out in Estes Park or something like that for a couple of days. We're still deciding, so leave a comment down below too what you suggest we should do because at this point we're a week away and we still aren't quite sure what we're gonna do. So yeah, we know the week of Christmas we're yeah. skiing with my family, but yeah. the week leading up to that we're just kind of taking our time on the road trip yeah. and so gonna hit some some sights and stuff. But uh, there's like the world's largest ball of yarn. There's like the world's largest rocking chair. I'm there's like <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be fun either way. Yeah, for sure. Well guys, the time has come for uh, the girls to reveal their home, their Christmassy gingerbread houses. All right, guys, so now that we've had a beautiful gingerbread montage a la Rocky, tell us your story all about this amazing well, do you gingerbread have a villa. Is there a name for this? <clears throat> This is This is I did. I love I love the music. I love the background music. This is Death of State. Death of State? Estate. Death Estate? This is the Death Estate, guys. Oh my gosh. If you watch it's a it's a ghostly if you watch Soul Eater or anime in general, there is a anime called Soul Eater and there is a person named Death the Kid. And for our house, he goes on a mission and has to dress up as Santa Claus and stay in a gingerbread home. But because he has insane <laughs> symmetry problems, he has to have everything perfectly symmetrical, which he designed wow. this home. <laughs> it's called Death Estate. Now it's Death called the Death Estate. Estate. Okay, guys, house number one, perfectly the girls, symmetrical. is a perfectly symmetrical <laughs> Death Estate. <laughs> Complete with organ music. Befitting <laughs> a Death Estate. Okay. Right. I love it. My favorite part, though, is look, it does have some mistletoe. Aww. Okay, so if we ever go to the Death Estate, we can stand under the mistletoe. I don't know mistletoe. how I feel about the name, but I really like the gingerbread house of it. So. Would, you put some, would you actually stay there? Would I stay at the Death you, Estate? You, Mom, would you actually stay there? I don't know, man. I like that, like, off Hansel and Gretel type thing where, yeah. like, the witch is gonna, like, cook you in a kettle or something. Oddly, it looks very opposite of what the name yeah, is. Yeah, it's, like, almost like an ironic name. Yeah. <laughs> it's very ironic. Yeah, I really I love, love it. that's called cool. Linky is so hyper right now. He's dancing. Because he ate a candy cane. <laughs> All right. Teamwork what? makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's okay. right. Montage. Wow, guys. All right, guys. Montage. Let's give you guys a beautiful montage. Now that we've had our beautiful wow. montage, it's gorgeous. You gotta tell, tell us, us the backstory. It. What's it called? Do you have a Fred. name? Fred. Is what it's called. <laughs> Fred is what your house is called. Yes. I love it. Is that because of the architect's name? Maybe. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The story. What's yeah, it? tell okay. us the story. Millions and millions and millions of years ago, old Saint Nick was running around the earth trying to find a place to stay so he can take presents yeah. to the, the good children and call to the bad children. <coughs> and then he, uh, he went to Narnia and he saw, uh, what's his name? Aslan, I think that's his name. Yeah. yeah. I forgot. And Aslan gave him magical gingerbread pieces, and he made this. He made Fred. Yes. Wow. Wow, Fred, that's a but, great story. But he was a lot more beautiful back then. <laughs> okay. Over time, he'd send presents to the good children and the bad children. No, the cool to the bad children. But the kids didn't believe in him, and so he retired and. <laughs> Nowadays, this is, this is what's left of it. So this is Fred. his retirement house. Fred is the retirement house? No, no, this, for is, Santa? this, this is his shop. Oh, you know, oh it's his the, retirement yeah. shop? Santa's workshop that was retired. Uh, yeah. Now it's dilapidated. That's now he lives in Hawaii. And <laughs> he left Fred no more at the North Pole. This kid is my, my you know, son. What else? <laughs> what else? Learn from the He's learned you guys from... know Steven's like, uh, bedtime stories always get real weird. There's more. Yeah. There's more. But wait, there's more. The kids 
felt bad because they don't get presents anymore. Oh man. And so they sent a, a construction worker. A construction out worker? Oh my god. And he's rebuilding the house and making oh, it. Oh wow. So it's a story of hope. Wow. Okay. Well. Good that's job, the uh, that's the, that's the deal, huh? Wait, there's more. <laughs> Do you notice anything about the front, though? About the front? No. What should I notice about the front? It's, it's a, a face. face. The face? Yeah, that's what Jesus called Eyes, mouth, and blush. He's magical. Is. Uh, wow, very magical cool, guys. Fred the house. Well done. Yeah. High five! High five! All right, so now it is up to durability. Well, no, no. we're just gonna Durability. we're just gonna we're just turn Lincoln it. loose. Oh, Lincoln, what's high five too? Good job, Lincoln. Right, Good Lincoln. job helping beat it. No, no, no. Lincoln, will this house that. stand up? Ooh. Ooh. All right, let go, let go. Durability test. Yeah. No. Durability test. <laughs> yeah. It's actually standing. Yeah. Yes. 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 Lincoln approved. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It, it's not over, Phil. Oh, oh. oh. Not over. okay. All right, girls, girls, your turn. Durability <laughs> test. Okay, durability okay, test durability on this test. one, Lincoln. Oh! oh. oh. See, I oh. Got no. We haven't got <laughs> punched it. Punch 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 it. The death estate <laughs> in all of its deathly glory. Oh, or will it be yeah. Fred? <laughs> These are bound to be the greatest names for gingerbread houses I think I've ever heard in my life. Death Both estate them, or Fred? Both of them are hilarious. So. Yeah. so comment down below, death estate or Fred, and uh, we're gonna tally up the votes to yeah. see who won, and yeah. the winner of this contest was gonna get, what, what should we give you guys? Kira's just eating the death estate. I think yeah. She's literally ah, eating it. There's literally a bite mark on it. It's there. hilarious. What should we give for the winner? Ten bucks each. Ten bucks each. Ten bucks yeah. each. A dragon. Ten bucks uh, each. Yeah, ten bucks How each. about a high five? A high five. No, five. I, I think we could go ten, ten bucks. bucks. No, no, no. Ten, ten bucks. bucks. Huh. How do you do? Don't move way. Huh. Uh huh. Aww. Ten bucks. We do Don't move all way. Five Don't move all the way. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ethan is literally just taking bites out of it. I think I think the winner is just gonna get to eat their own or gingerbread house. I'm pretty sure the kids are gonna be eating the gingerbread houses tonight anyway. I don't think they're gonna last very long. What you should do is make a life size version of our gingerbread house. Oh my god. Get cardboard and everything. No no no. I think it would be easier to just shrink you guys down. What do you think? Okay. Honey, I shrunk the kids version. Oh my god. You can oh, see the legit bite mark. Wow. Being eaten by death. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway guys, that's it for today. Super quick video, just fun. This is sort of a tradition for us. So we didn't want to like not do it, but we do got to get ready to leave to go. So go we're going to yep. go ahead and do that thing. I think we're also going to watch the new episode of Hawkeye tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Comes out. The rest of our Everyone's Christmas pretty pumped about out. that. And yeah, we got all these Christmas cards and they're amazing. And we need to like fill out all the addresses and send them out tomorrow. So anyway, we love you guys. Cannot wait to see you next time and we will see you soon. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye from the Nutcracker. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. For your namesake, you will leave.